Coming up on Hands On Tech, I get to put my hands on the new fourth generation iPad Pro. It's 12.9 inches of awesome. Hands On Tech is brought to you from LastPass Studios. Keeping passwords on notes or spreadsheets doesn't work anymore. LastPass can easily keep track and create unique passwords for every site you use. Visit lastpass.com slash twit. This is Twit. This episode of Hands On Tech is brought to you by LastPass. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. A big old box arrived at the studio today and what should be inside but the brand new fourth generation iPad Pro. At first look, it probably seems like it's the same as the current iPad Pro, but there is some new magic going on in here. So what has changed? What makes this device unique from the current iPad Pros that are out there, and why would you maybe want to get this if you have an iPad right now? Well, let's talk about that. It all starts with this sensor array right here. You've got two lenses, a wide angle lens and an ultra wide angle lens, and then this magic little dot right here is LiDAR. This device sends out little beams of light, little photons, that the device can then track and see how long it takes for those photons to reach the little sensor here again. And by doing that, it can determine depth in a very smart and very accurate way. So that's new, but we've also got a brighter LED flash here as well. And all of that equals a much better camera experience on the new iPads. Now this is both for the 11 inch model and the 12.9 inch model. And let's talk a little bit about the uh, specs there. So with the new cameras, you've got the wide angle lens that's a 12 megapixel shot, as well as a 10 megapixel shot for the ultra wide angle lens. That's f 1.8 aperture for the wide and 2.4 aperture for the 10 respectively. But one of the things that Apple seems to be wanting to do with this new iPad Pro is offer a better augmented reality experience. Apple of course uses AR kit, that is its framework, its platform for providing augmented reality experiences on your iPhone, on your iPad, etc. And Apple's new device that does time of flight information and uh, LiDAR detection is in place to provide a better experience in AR than you can get with the current state of things. So right now, with my iPhone, for example, when I shoot, uh, when I turn on the video and I'm doing AR, it is using the differences in the shots from the different lenses to calculate the distance of an object away from me in order to provide for an augmented reality experience. And I have to say, it is a huge step up on these new iPhones. It does provide for a better experience. But to actually use LiDAR to do that provides even more depth information than you would get in other ways. So this is a whole new system that makes for an incredible experience that's only available currently on these new iPads. Now, let's talk about what's inside. So, you're going to notice, if, you, if you're one of the people who loves to look at specs, then you'll actually notice that the battery in the new iPad is ever so slightly smaller than the current uh, models of iPad Pros. Apple tends to improve upon performance in every jump of its processors, and the same goes for these devices. So despite the slightly smaller battery so they can pack in more, and likely it has to do with this new LiDAR detector and the new camera that's inside of this, despite adding that new stuff and making the battery a tiny bit smaller, you're gonna get the same uh, all-day battery life that you expect. And of course, I say, I can't say it when I'm holding this big 12.9 inch iPad, but all day battery life, uh, as, as it were. You get quite a bit of battery life with your iPad, but um, 
the all day determination is of course going to depend on what you're doing. Of course, this includes Apple's A12Z or Z bionic chip uh, with the 64 bit architecture. So this is a little bit different from the current models, which has the A12Y model. So a faster processor, this thing has ridiculous speed and in many cases maybe uh, quite overpowered for what you're doing. So as uh, Leo and I talked about on iOS today when we were talking about these new iPads, one of the things that we hope comes out of this as Apple continues to make improvements on the processor that's built into this is that we will see developers creating apps that can truly take advantage of the power that's in this machine. Because this thing can outpace some of the laptops on the market right now because of these really incredible, really efficient chips that are built into the device. You're going to get the same uh, brightness level, you're going to get the same really high quality resolution display. You're gonna be getting a lot of the same uh, if you currently have the, the last generation iPad Pro that up until today was the current generation iPad Pro. So really what it boils down to here is that jump in processor and that new uh, camera sensor array that, that provides for more functionality there, like I said, especially in AR. This episode of Hands on Tech is brought to you by LastPass. As you're preparing your remote workforce, it's important to keep security top of mind with aiding employee productivity. Transitioning to a full work from home environment can be complicated. LastPass is here to make the transition easier without decreasing security. LastPass enables IT teams to remain in complete control over which employees are accessing which resources, no matter where they are working, for unified visibility over access and authentication. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to find out how they can help you. That's lastpass.com slash twit. So if you are using the current model of iPad, are you, of iPad Pro rather, does it make sense for you to upgrade? Well, frankly, I would say no. And that is because right now the functionality that I have, I've got my 11 inch iPad Pro here uh, with my keyboard attached to it. It's the smart keyboard case. And this is a very powerful machine. This is a very powerful laptop, essentially, that I am able to carry around with me very easily. And save for that A12Z processor and the new camera array. So you can see I've only got one little dinky camera on this, one little lens here. Um, it makes for an excellent device that I use. I don't really take photos a lot on my iPad. So if you're not one that's uh, taking photos, that's, that's jumping around in lots of AR experiences, then you're probably not going to be missing out much by choosing not to upgrade to the new iPad Pro. And that goes double for what I'm about to talk about, which is the new keyboard that Apple is making for the new iPads. This keyboard is actually available for the current iPad Pro, the new one, but the last generation model, like the one that I have. So with this new keyboard, and we can't show that off yet because Apple has not released it yet. It's supposed to be coming sometime uh, later this year, possibly in May. It provides for a new experience. Uh, it's called the Magic Keyboard that not only has a, a way to lock in your iPad and have it rest above the laptop, it's got a hinged mechanism that sort of lets the iPad float, but it also has a trackpad built into it and a backlit keyboard. And because of the smart connector that is on the back of, of the iPad, I wanna show that that is the same as the smart connector on the back of my current iPad. So yes, that means that the smart keyboard that you have right now, if you upgrade to the new iPad Pro, it's going to lock in. Now, of course, you uh, will want to make the decision whether you want to have that backlit keyboard, uh, if, if that makes more sense for you, and the trackpad functionality, which is brand new to the iPad Pro. In the same way that the last generation of iPad Pro was essentially a future-proofing device, a device that was made to be really at its most powerful in its current rendition, 
This iPad Pro is sort of the next generation of that. It is taking leaps and bounds of steps ahead to provide for functionality that you may not have right now. And one of those things is the new Wi-Fi chip that is built into the iPad Pro. This iPad is able to use Wi-Fi 6, which is 802.11ax. That is the next edition of Wi-Fi. It is far faster, or at least can provide speeds that are far faster than the current uh, version of Wi-Fi. And frankly, there aren't many routers out there that can even do Wi-Fi 6 output yet. So that is just one way, along with that brand new chip that's built into the iPad Pro, that is providing functionality that we may not need just yet, but that I hope we see developers take advantage of in the future. Because this is a workhorse. This is a very powerful machine that you can use for video editing, that you can use for all sorts of things. There's eight cores of graphics processing in this thing. You can record, edit, cut, video, audio, all sorts of things right there on the device and have it happen so quickly and so easily regardless of what it happens to be that you're working on. And with the new options for storage on this thing, this one I believe Leo got the 512 gigabyte model, but it goes up to one terabyte of space on the iPad Pro itself. You can record footage, cut footage, and have it all happen right there on the device without having to go to anything else. You can do it right there. It is fantastic for uh, lots of different heavy tasks, and so I hope that we continue to see developers take advantage of that and create apps that truly provide for a workstation. Because if I get that keyboard and I put this into the holster there and start tip tapping away and using the trackpad, suddenly I've got a very portable, very powerful workstation that I can take with me anywhere I want and be able to use to record, shoot, and create all kinds of content. So thanks for tuning in. If you want to see more about this iPad Pro and about other iOS stuff, you can also check out my show, Hands on iOS. That's twit.tv slash H-O-I. And to get Leo's thoughts on the new iPad Pro, the keyboard when it comes, you're going to want to check out iOS today, twit.tv slash I-O-S. Until then, I think I'm going to go have some fun with this new iPad Pro and see what it has to offer. Thanks for tuning in. Keep up with all the hottest tech news and gadgets. Visit twit.tv. There you'll be able to find and subscribe to all our tech shows. Thanks for watching Hands On Tech.